Hi, I'm Bridget. Welcome to my 560 square foot apartment in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. In design, I'm really drawn to old world French. I love like romantic feminine details. So I'm really excited to show you everything I've done here. As soon as you walk in, you're already in my kitchen, which is very common for railroad style apartments where one room leads directly into the next. So you really kind of have to be intentional about every little space in the apartment. For example, this built-in cabinet is literally the first thing you see when you walk in. It's an original built-in and I love it because I love to collect pretty things and this is a chance for me to put them on display. This is a 1920s building, so it has a ton of original charm, which I love like this shelf over my little standalone stove, and it opens up into one of my favorite spots in the whole apartment, which is my little breakfast nook. So this is my little French cafe. I love having places to plop with a custom-sized bench that fits perfectly in the alcove, and then a little marble bistro table, wooden chair, and then this vintage oil painting that somehow fits perfectly in the original molding to complete the vignette. People think it's wild that I would add a marble countertop in a rental, and trust me, I never thought it would get to this point, but over time, I just had this vision in my head that I couldn't get out, and I just couldn't not do it. So here's this beautiful Carrera marble, unlacquered brass hardware, which you'll see all throughout my apartment because I just love the patina that it develops. I always felt like my kitchen needed a little island. I finally found this vintage workbench that works perfectly. I just need to eventually raise it up a little bit so it's counter height, but other than that, it's perfect. I use this space between the kitchen and bedroom as my dressing room, and this is Ollie. Closet space is really hard to come by, so I had these cabinets added with brass hardware, of course. I do my makeup here in this little vanity. You may recognize this marble from the kitchen. And no dressing room is complete without a head-to-toe mirror. I actually added this painting on top, and it just fills the space and makes it feel more balanced. I decided to make this little nook off of my living room into my bedroom. There's not much in here besides my bed and some art, but I really wanted this to feel like its own distinct space. Aside from this arch, which is already here, I added some curtains, and then I actually painted the entire thing myself. I did it myself, including the ceiling. It's a very subtle blue. It just embraces you and makes you feel like you're in your own cozy nest. Typically in a railroad apartment, people will use this room as their bedroom, but to me, it kind of just felt like a living room. It already has this incredible fireplace mantle. I added this five foot mirror to complete the moment and who doesn't love a vintage bench to just lounge on? And this was a blank wall when I first moved in, so I had these shelves built and it's just another place to display all the beautiful things I love to collect. This here is one of my favorite vignettes in the whole apartment. It's another great place to plop. Here I put another mirror, and I love that when you look into it, it literally reflects the entire apartment. And Ollie loves to plop here too. This couch has seen better days. Ollie's had a lot of fun with it. I kind of customized it to make it my own. It initially had these big back cushions, and I just found myself craving more depth. So I removed them, put them in storage, and have just been playing around with my own pillows and lounge the way I want to lounge. And he likes to lounge too. Creating a home is such a journey and I'm so grateful to this space for giving me the opportunity to explore and experiment and evolve my style. Thank you so much for coming on this little trip to the French countryside in Brooklyn and I hope to see you back when I'm sure this space is gonna look entirely different. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.